Hey everyone, so you know how most of us still spend a lot of time working with the command line on our Linux systems? Well, today I want to introduce you to this awesome tool called Tmax. Basically, Tmax is like a super handy Swiss Army knife for your terminal. Instead of uh, juggling multiple terminal windows, Tmax lets you manage everything in one place. This mini-series will consist of two parts. In this video, I will walk you through Tmax key features and perks. In the second video, I will show you how to set it up. Trust me, once you get the hang of it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. I'm Philip, and I'm excited to dive into this with you. Let's get cracking. I will show you some of the things Tmax can do. Mind that some of the key bindings are stock Tmax, but some of them have been remapped to better suit my needs. First, let's connect to a remote server and run our terminal multiplexer with the Tmax command. This will start a so-called Tmax session. A session is basically a workspace where you can organize and manage your terminal activities. Within the Tmax session, you can have multiple windows. Let's create a new window. To do that, I will press Shift and arrow down. Uh, we have a second terminal started. Let's start yet another terminal with Shift and arrow down. At the bottom, there's a status bar that shows the window number and window name. You can move between windows using Shift and arrow left or right. So basically, Shift is your key to manipulate windows. Down arrow is for a new window, and left and right arrow keys allow you to switch between windows. Another way to move between windows is just by pressing the window number. First, you need to get into the command mode with Ctrl A. This little bar on the left will turn yellow to indicate you are in the command mode, and then press the window number. So, if you'd like to go to window 2, just press 2. Uh, you can also navigate between windows by using a window list. Uh, you just press Ctrl A to get into the command mode and then press W. That will list all the windows. You can then select the window you'd like and press Enter. You can also search the window list by window name with Ctrl S. Let's first bring the window list with Ctrl A followed by W, then press Ctrl S and type the window name you want to find. Uh, this will bring you to the terminal with that name. Another useful feature is renaming the windows. Let's go to window 1 with Shift and left arrow. Now, I will enter command mode with Ctrl A and press comma. Uh, I will rename the window to my window. To kill a terminal, you can either log out with Ctrl D or enter the command mode with Ctrl A and press the ampersand key. It will ask for your confirmation. Bam, the window is gone. We know a little bit about windows, how to create, rename, close or switch between them, but there's more to it. You can split a window into multiple panes. Let me show you how that works. I will press Ctrl A to get into command mode and then press the pipe symbol. Do you see what just happened? We have two terminals running inside two panes. We can move between them uh, with Alt and the arrow keys. If you hold Ctrl and Alt, then you can resize your panes like this. You can also split a pane. This time I will enter command mode with Ctrl A and press minus sign. This will split the pane horizontally. Then I will resize that pane with Ctrl Alt arrow up. Just to sum up, you can perform vertical split with pipe and horizontal split with minus. You can move between panes with Alt and arrow keys. You can resize pane with Ctrl Alt and arrow keys. Now let me show you something that will blow your mind away. I will hit F5 key, then 
press Ctrl L to clear the screen and do PS command. Do you see that? By hitting F5, I've entered mode where paints are synchronized. Let me get out of this mode by hitting F5 again. This is very useful if you are connected to multiple servers and want to execute the same commands on all of them. Another handy thing about paints is zooming a paint in and out. To do that, you just enter the command mode with Ctrl A and press Z for zoom. Then you can zoom out with the same combination, Ctrl A and Z. You can also break a pane into a new window. To do that, you just enter the command mode with Ctrl A and press the exclamation mark. So, our pane is now window 1. Let's connect to a remote server and move back to window 0 using Shift and left arrow. We can see that there are only two panes left. You can cycle through various pane layouts with Ctrl A and Space key. Mind that you can also perform some operations with a mouse. Let me right click on the pane and select the Swap Down option. That will move the pane down. Now let's right click again and select Horizontal Split. We can also resize the pane by dragging uh, them with the mouse. We've talked about windows and panes. Another great feature of Tmax are sessions. What if I tell you that now I can detach from this session with Ctrl A and D for detach and log out from the server. Now let's connect back to the server. We can list our sessions with Tmax LS. Uh, what you can do now is attach to that session with Tmax A for attach. We are back. All our panes and windows are still there. If we switch to the second window with shift and arrow right, we see that our SSH connection is still up. Uh, this is very useful for long running processes. You can detach from a session and reattach from a different location and your processes are still running. You can have more than one session available. Let's detach from this session with Ctrl A and D. Then let's spawn a new session with Tmax command. Let's start a new process and detach from this session with Ctrl A and D. If we list our sessions, we'll discover there are two sessions available. We can attach to either of them by providing the dash T option and the session number. In order to switch sessions, you don't have to detach Tmax. You just do Ctrl A to enter command mode and press S for session. Now, let me attach to the other session. Just to sum up, you can organize your workspaces into separate sessions consisting of windows that in turn consist of panes. Tmax sessions are persistent, meaning they continue to exist even after you close your terminal or disconnect from a remote server. This allows you to resume your work exactly where you left off by simply attaching to the existing session. I'd like to show you another useful thing. Let's open our terminal multiplexer, this time on our local PC. I will list some text. Now let me enter a copy mode with Ctrl A and the left uh, square bracket. I can use arrow keys or page up, uh, page down to move around. I can also search for a string with a question mark uh, that will search up or slash that will search down. Let's press the question mark and search for Archie. I can also start uh, text selection with spacebar and then move on with the selection by using arrow keys. Finally, let's copy the selection to clipboard by pressing enter. I can also enter selection mode with the mouse. Now, let me open a file and Open our paste buffers by entering our command mode with Ctrl A and then pressing equal sign. 
we can see our clipboard history. Let's paste something here. Let's paste something else now. Very useful. In the next video, I will show you how to wire it up. Uh, we'll install the Powerline font, Terminal, Shell, and Tmax itself. I will show you my configuration as well as those nice plugins like Battery Status or Weather. Tmax is an amazing tool and I cannot imagine daily work without it. Of course, today we've just scratched the surface, as Tmax has so many features and parameters that you can customize. See you in the next video.